Someone asked me to, if I made new battery cables for the Super 44 to show how I do it. I think I'm gonna do that. So, uh, of course the easiest solution is just to go somewhere and buy new ones. But I actually have the stuff to make cables. So I'm just gonna take the old ones off because they're gonna get replaced anyways. And then I'll have them for length. Taking off the ground one. There. Yeah, not the best looking thing. Then we cut off a length of the cable on the new stuff. Now my remaining chunk of cable here. Yeah, I'll take my word for it. It's just a little bit longer than the ground cable. I'm just going to use it all. Other than having a little pigtail left over, I can do nothing with. And then I can probably, it should give me enough extra length, I can just put it in right at the starter, which is better anyways. So we'll do that. I'm going to put some dielectric grease inside there to help cut down on corrosion. And didn't have any regular flat ends. I think these are the type that go on um, side terminal car batteries, but it'll work. It'll probably work. It might not be big enough for this cable. I snipped a few wires, uh, strands off to see if that'll... Oh, almost. A couple more. Air compressor powered hydraulic crimping tool and just crimp them down on the lines or the cables. hydraulic pressure into the cylinders which forces this red part up pushes the wedges in and crimps down to get a grip on it. There it goes. Make sure it's shoved down in there good. be switching out for there's different sets of wedges depending on what size you're crimping whoop wrong way get 
that end out of there. It seems to be good and tight. Let's see where it crimped it down. I could. I can come up from the other direction. Let's do that. I'm just pushing the cable up from the other end to make sure it's in there good, snug, deep as it can get. cable. Negative post is a little smaller than the positive post and on this tractor it's a little longer because it goes to the starter. Now for the other one. sure it was down in there good and released it a little too much. She's crimped down. <laughs> New cables installed. I should have made my negative to the starter a little bit longer and I could have tucked it under the bell housing there, but it is what it is now and then i got the i did make the ground cable longer so i was able to put that right at the starter which should help so now for the moment of truth let's see if it cranks better if you uh, watch my video of the super startup from a week or so ago you know this one cranked pretty hard and didn't want to crank much at all unless the booster was on it with the gas off. Must have been a little bit in the carburetor. Well, shoot, we might as well fire her up. That made a world of difference. Should have done that years ago. And probably should have made them longer so I could tuck them down in there, but I guess they're going to be visible no matter what. Might zip tie them together.
appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you in the next one.